Hi there, I wanted to give an update on my living room, kitchen, whole thing. I think the last video I did was about a couple weeks and I've gotten a new thing and I've gotten some new things in that my husband was so kind to help me put together. I got these two cabinets, if you remember before I had like open cabinets that had the stuff, right? So let me just show you, I gotta get used. I, I got my camera on a selfie stick and I feel a little awkward so I need to figure out how to do this. But um, basically my games and stuff are in there. You know, I've got my craft stuffs in the drawer. Um, so I, I cleaned it up a lot and I think it looks a lot nicer than what it looked like before. Uh, the thing that I love about this cabinet is the soft close hinges. So I can just do that. Can you see it? <laughs> and they close very, very nicely. The other thing that I got was this litter box. Remember I had a black litter box before and now I've got this white one, um, which again, it's another awesome piece. It has self-closing hinges. Let me actually turn the camera around so I can show you both of these things better because I'm, I'm way too close and I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to do this, but I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the cabinet again, so you can see better the detail on the hinges, the doors, uh, all the stuff that I have in there. You can see the soft closing hinges, which I absolutely love. Love the color on this. I love the drawers. I've got some of my craft stuff in here. I wish the drawers were self closing, but I, they're not. Um, so the cabinets are there's both there's two of them. They're they're exactly the same. You can see my pups in a minute. There's my dog. <laughs> the cabinets are the same. I thought that was gonna bug me. I think it's gonna be okay. Um, but that's how that looks. I'm not really sure how to style that yet with what I've got going on here. I know that this middle picture thing is not quite even. Um, so we'll see what goes on. Um, I also had two lamps on here, but the lamps are, here, the lamps are still over here. They're this color. So they're almost the same color as the wood on that cabinet. So I'm thinking maybe that's not a good thing to do over here kind of like maybe some blue or something i'm not sure so i'm kind of going oceany theme in here you can kind of tell what's going on i moved this it used to be over underneath the kitchen thing that's here still have my daughter's painting table i've got this treadmill there we don't have room in the garage yet i don't know what to do with this chair i've got some <laughs> i've got a light a chair uh, a chair a fan and a vacuum cleaner i don't know what to do with that that's the dog's toys and then here again is the litter box which i love you can put the door on either side. It just depends on how you build it. The reason that I put this one all the way over on this side is because my cat can, can get in there, but my dog can't because dogs seem to love those tasty treats. I, I don't know why. Um, so he made a little bit of a mess. So I'm going to need to clean that up today, but oh, it's probably going to look gross in here. I probably shouldn't show you because it obviously he needs, he made a mess, um, but it's got this little tray. I won't, I won't show it, but uh, in the litter box there. And then it has this pull-out hidden drawer, which is nice. So I've got some of my cat stuff in there. Put that in there. And then this thing has self-closing hinges also, which is amazing. So I think that looks really, really great there. What I'm planning to do is to put my son's little record player here on top of that. And then I've got um, a little storage thing coming for that for those records in, in a color that I think will look good. And then I'm gonna get rid of this table. This is a lac table. Um, you can kind of tell it's already like falling apart and is nasty and gross. And then this um, wine cabinet I'm trying to get rid of. I don't know what to do with those lamps. I might sell them or donate them. And then let's go over to look at the couch. Let's look at the couch. So this is the black couch that was upstairs in the man cave and that table came with it also. So that was up in the man cave. This table ended up being too large for that orange couch up there. But, you know, I think it looks okay in here. I do want to bring the black down a little bit by having just some more blankets or pillows or something to kind of bring some of the light back. Um, got our table in here. And then back there, I've got a little bit of cleaning to do with that little black um, container thing has stuff that needs to go in there. So it's a work in progress. I'm definitely a work in progress. Okay, here is a quick look at the man cave couch that I said was orange. And this is the chair that I had originally. And it seems like it goes good. My husband doesn't know that he likes this rug. So uh, don't think we're going to be keeping that. 
And also, this is a TV stand. We're waiting for a uh, table, a uh, coffee table to come in because the other one was too big. It didn't end up going downstairs. But yeah, you know, we ended up liking the, the couch. It's very, very comfortable. And I'm glad that we ended up doing the whole couch swap thing. Kitchen is going to get painted in a little less than two weeks. So this will go away from being an oak color and it will be a blue. Actually, let me show you the color. This is a real kitchen, folks, so it's probably dirty. <laughs> so this is what the painter painted out. This is going to be the color that it's going to be. I don't know how it's showing up on the screen, but uh, it's not showing up that great. That's okay. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the color. I think it goes great with the, the tile that I have. And then I ended up choosing some different hinges, excuse me, some different things. I originally thought I was going to go with this black because these are the original. I thought I was going to go with the black and then I didn't end up liking that. So I ended up buying this one. Of course, it's not open. I grabbed the box of the ones that's not open. So let me open that real quick. I don't know how this is going to come out on camera. How is this going to come out on camera? So this is going to be the color and then this is going to be the, the hinge handle, excuse me, the handle. So I think that's going to look really, really nice. Like I said, on my, the tile that I have existing, this is going to be the paint cabinets. And then I think that's going to look nice. So that's in a couple of weeks. And then I still need to sell and you know, get rid of this. I don't think that's going to work here anymore. Um, you got to love it when you have a man in your life, just tools everywhere. <laughs> Um, these little floor mats are going to have to go because when the cabinets are blue, they're going to look really, really weird. I think that is it. I mean, at least as far as my plans, I have some other thoughts about redoing the floors. I hate the tile floors. I actually just hate tile in general. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. I don't like grout. I don't like cleaning grout. I don't like sealing grout. I also don't like that a lot of my grout is coming out. So they need to be regrouted, and I just, I hate, I hate tile. The countertops I'm dealing with because I want to wait until I gut my kitchen completely. The floor probably will have to wait till then too, but I have been thinking about putting a vinyl sheeting on top of it. I don't know if that's a possibility. It's, it's like, depends on who you ask. Like I've asked different people and then I've also Googled and got two different answers. So, you know, some people say, yes, you can put vinyl flooring, like sheet vinyl, uh, lay it right on top of tile and then other people say no you've got to rip out the tile and and then put in different flooring so I don't know what to believe I don't have the talent to do it myself I don't have the drive to do DIY so I'd have to pay for pay for this and I'm just trying to do most of this for the lowest price that I can right now because I'm just not ready for a full-scale remodel I think I need to have more cash flow for that I need to I want to pay cash I want to pay you know, uh, 50 to a hundred thousand dollars to remodel my house, but I want to have cash. I don't want to take out a loan. So that's going to take a while. Um, I need to have this channel. <laughs> I need to have this channel take off and start monetizing. I need to have some of my other social media platforms monetizing so that I can take the money from my nine to five and use it for my bills and then use the money from monetizing on my socials to pay for these house renovations. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Click the subscribe button below. Click the like button too. That really, really helps me out. I think that's going to be it for this video. I probably won't do another video until after the cabinets are painted, which I'm so, so excited about. That happens on August 19th. And then it says, the man that's the painting them is saying that it's going to take four to five days. So I'll do a video after that because I need to kind of just tie more things in. Like I need to buy a new rugs and probably some new towels and, you know, do some more things. But it's coming along really, really well, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it. I, I feel good. The couch downstairs that came from upstairs is way comfier than the couch that I had before. So I am very, very excited about this little mini remodel that I'm doing. It's something that I've been wanting to do for four years. So anywho, I will not keep talking your ear off. Thank you for watching. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and that's it. All right. Have a great day. Bye.